Hello, my friends. Welcome to Micro Squad. My name is Gabby. Today I'm going to teach you a hip workout, so high intensity Pilates using the Bala beam, which is 15 pounds. You can probably use the ring if um, you don't have 15 pounds. If you don't have the beam, you can probably use the ring. Just adjust your hand grip for that, um, or you know, just weights you have at home. I'm also going to incorporate this yoga block, but if you don't have one, um, you can use like a towel. We're going to squeeze it between our legs or a book or something like that, just to like squeeze the inner thighs. And then probably a book later, we're going to stand on the block. So, um, and if you don't have it, you can just skip it too. All good. So we'll get started on our back. We're going to lay on our back, put the block in between our legs and use the beam. So we'll use everything to start. We'll transition to a few moves without some of the props, but I'll walk you through it. So let's start on um, sitting on our booty, put the block in between your legs. I have the ball of beam right at my hips because we're going to bring it up overhead. We're going to start in a crunch. So laying down, you're squeezing your inner thighs with that block. So it's like at my knees, squeezing the inner thighs. If you have a towel, something to just feel that inner thigh squeeze. And then I have the beam straight overhead. So starting with a crunch, we're going to go all the way up. So I'm reaching towards the ceiling, rolling up all the way. So starting off strong, <laughs> rolling the spine all the way down reaching up towards the ceiling. Good. If you need to start a little less intense, just start with some crunches here, reaching up towards the ceiling. Otherwise, once you're feeling good, rolling all the way up. Good. Trying to keep that beam reaching up towards the ceiling, all the way up. Good, I have those deep breaths going. This is definitely heavy. Getting right into it. Good, we're gonna meet on our back. Let's do three more. There's one. We're gonna meet on our back just like this. Good, that was two. We got one more, we'll meet down on our back. Awesome, starting to feel it in my shoulders. So still having that block in between the legs, we're gonna start with some skull crushers for the upper body. So hands start right over those. Maybe even shift like 15 degrees back, low back press down, and then bending the elbows. So this is where the beam's like right over my chest. I have it kind of right over my forehead for the bending the elbows and keeping one spot, dropping the beam down. Triceps here. That core, my low back is pressed down so I don't tweak it or anything using that strong core. Doing good. Eight. Once again with that beam overhead. So just finishing out four, three, two, and one. Whew. Straight up overhead, this time over my chest area. I'm just gonna bend the elbows in with that narrow grip and then back up. So it's kind of a chest press here, feeling it in the shoulders, feeling it in the chest. Trying to keep the beam aligned here, just going down, straight up. Feeling it in the tops of the shoulders now that we have this different angle. Feeling it in the chest because I have those elbows squeezed to my side. Pressing my low back down, squeezing the inner thighs. Don't forget. Good, really starting to feel it in those shoulders. We'll take a break from the upper body, do a little bit of lower body. We have a glute bridge in five, four, three, two, and one. Little break for those shoulders here. Beam is gonna go over our hips, squeeze the inner thighs together, plant the heels down. You know what to do, roll the hips up, squeeze the glutes, hold for five, four, three, two, and one, roll it down. All the way back up, another hold. Squeeze the glutes, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last one, roll it back up, hold it up, squeeze it there, holding for five, four, three, 
two and one nice job with the holds full range here all the way up all the way down <sighs> still doing those glute bridges here but not holding at the top just a little squeeze is good keeping the core tight keeping those inner thighs really feeling it here on this one as we're holding that block in between for those knees feeling that extra weight across our hips heels dug in core stays tight as well as always six more we're gonna stand on up good four three more extra little squeeze in the booty for two last one all right let's take this block to the side for now beam to the side so we can stand up we're gonna do some more upper body but in a standing position so block off to the side we're gonna use it towards the end arms in this little groove um, I like to have it where this center groove is facing down the taller grooves are closer to my wrists and then we're doing a lift so a little bit for our shoulders a little bit for the triceps bending the elbows keeping the beam really close to your chest so sliding it up good just sliding it up the front side of your body elbows fly out to the side and as you lift shoulders stay roll down your spine Whew. keep the tummy tight maybe squeeze the glutes here too. get a nice solid foundation and then all that weight is activated in those shoulders a little bit in those triceps <sighs> try to take it slow so that forms good try not to use too much momentum we can still do moves pretty slow with 15 pounds <sighs> if you need a break <laughs> totally take it good <sighs> we're gonna do a row coming up in five we're gonna hinge at the hips and keep this same overhand grip in three two and one good we're gonna hinge at the hips kind of like you're doing a deadlift he'll drop that bar right by those knees and then it's a row so you're bending those elbows keeping them close to your side body see how they're almost like straight behind me pinching the shoulder blades <sighs> Good. Core stays tight. Awesome. Got to have that core tight so that you do this little hinge and we don't feel it on our back. We want to feel it not in our low back at least. We want to strengthen the muscles in that upper back and then we're not feeling any tweaks in our low back here from keeping our core tight. Again, try not to use momentum here. Just really strong in the lats good we're gonna flip the grip for a bicep curl in three two and one Whew, a little extra squeeze there flip that grip here so you have that underhand grip use those same grooves just right where those hands feel comfortable from here we're gonna bicep curl up extend out and then since we have this beam stopping like right at our thighs it keeps the weight and that bicep activated so this one's super tough like I can normally curl about 15 pounds in each hand but with this since we're stopping with that weight still in our biceps this totally burns out my biceps <sighs> since it's all connected and one one string of weight it's definitely strong in those biceps here <sighs> try to keep those elbows glued to your side try not to use any momentum from the shoulders just really slow and controlled lifting the knuckles up squeezing those biceps <sighs> almost there we're finishing with lower body coming up five four three two and one Whew. all right we're gonna ditch the beam for just a quick moment set it off to the side bring this block back in i'm gonna get it in the screen here for you we're gonna do both legs one right after the other so start on whichever one feels good the long way that the block is i'm gonna have my foot on it and we're gonna step back for a lunge so we're gonna do the other leg right after so start on whichever one you want 
we're just stepping back and then coming to this place where we started. So a lunge back and then standing up. That was three for me. We're gonna do 10 and then we're gonna switch legs. Try to get that 90, 90 bend in both legs. A little bit deeper since we have that elevated position. A little more in the glutes, in those quads. Feeling those hamstrings as we lift. Good, have three more. Just stepping straight back here. All right, one more, we're gonna switch legs. Whew. So I'm just switching legs, just right over to this other leg. Same thing, just step it back and come to that first position. Whew. Little hinge at the hips, just a little tiny one. Whew. All right, I'm at five, we're doing 10. Really good, we're gonna bring that beam back in, it's gonna get intense. Whew. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge with that beam, we're gonna keep the block. All right, I got one more. Whew. All right, warmed up the lower body. Now we're gonna bring that beam back in. It's gonna go up and over our heads. It has that little groove at the center, so it should rest really comfortably on your neck and your arms grabbing it should feel really comfortable too. Um, we're gonna do one leg right after the other. So feel free to start on whichever side. I'm gonna start on right. Same thing, my foot is on the long end of that block. I'm gonna start with my weight in that foot that's on the block. I'm gonna do a curtsy lunge, and then I'm gonna step and sweep my leg over to the side. So if you wanna watch first, I got a curtsy lunge, I step back and behind, and then at the top, a little crunch. <sighs> Feel free to take your time. This one's gonna take like a couple tries to kind of get that um, rhythm and that balance. <sighs> if you need a break from that block, totally fine to just do it without it. It's a curtsy lunge, a little crunch. <sighs> Got 10 here. I did five. Got five more. That was four more now. We're going to switch sides. Three, two. You got it. Stay with it. Last one. Nice job. Trying to get that rhythm. It takes a couple, so don't feel bad if it's a little unsteady at first. You'll get the rhythm. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Curtsy lunge. A little crunch. Good. Once again, if you need to ditch that block, that's okay. Still get that curtsy lunge to a crunch in. Whew. Doing good. I have four more. We're doing 10. Last three. Here's two. Last one. Whew. Awesome job. Definitely got that burn in the booty and that little crunch for that oblique. All right, last little thing with the block. Whew, I need to catch my breath. <laughs> All right, we're good. Um, we're gonna do one leg right after the other. So whichever one you wanna start on, I'm gonna have all my weight on this standing block and then I'm up on my toes for that other leg. Still have this beam racked on my shoulders. So it's like on my tippy toes on this leg that's not on the block. And we're gonna do a little squat. Trying to keep a lot of the weight in that leg that's on the block. <sighs> awesome job, yeah, there it is. <sighs> that was four, we're doing 10. <sighs> that was five. Good, weight in that leg that's on the block. <sighs> Other leg's just there for support. <sighs> I'm up on my tippy toes for that one. <sighs> Good. Here's two. Last one, we're switching sides. Cool, shake it out. Switch sides, let's get right into it. Weight into that other leg, opposite leg there for support up on those tippy toes. Let's get into that squat. Whew. Definitely feeling it in the glutes here for sure, for sure. 
Doing 10 on this side. Good, that was five. Six, doing 10. So we got three more. Nice. Last one. All right, I'm done with that block. <laughs> All right, done with that block. Last little bit here for those hamstrings. Weight still racked. Let's finish off strong. We have good mornings here. So weight is in the heels, core is tight before you even start. Then you shift the hips back, kind of like you're doing a squat, but your upper body is gonna go forward. You'll feel a fire in your hamstrings. <laughs> and that's what we're going for here. So almost teeter-tottering teeter -tottering your body forward. So that means as the upper body is moving, the lower body is moving at the same time. <sighs> Make sure you're shifting those hips back, kind of like you're going to do a squat, but legs are pretty straight, little soft bend. <sighs> <sighs> Doing good. Hang on to it. Talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Core stays tight, feeling it in those hamstrings. We're finishing here so strong. Good, squeeze the glutes at the top, keep them squeezed. You'll feel that extra burn. Here for five. We're finishing here, this is it. You guys got it, hang on to it, almost there. For four. Stay strong, finish out, last three. Here's two, get one more in, and exhale at the top. Nice work. I'm gonna take this off my neck and close it out for you guys. Really good work. I'm sweating, I'm out of breath. I hope you are as well, that was really, really good. Um, 15 pounds, definitely feels like a lot, but it's super lightweight, so won't be super sore. Um, and be nice to our bodies. So thanks for coming. Let me know how, what you guys thought. I'm Gab. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching The Micro Squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and check out our on-demand classes. They are on our website, themicrosquad.com, and we'll see you next time.